of reaction rate of reaction dalam bahasa Melayu adalah kadar tindak balas tiap uh, t or slash b eh kadar tindak balas hey guys actually do you know or not rate you have learned indirectly in physics you have learned indirectly in physics that's why you will notice in this particular chapter a quite of number of things that you have learned in physics we are going to cover this again kita dah belajar dah benda ni kadar dalam fizik tapi kita akan cuba untuk belajar balik dalam term kimia guys bila saya cakap rate bila saya cakap rate ataupun kadar what is the first thing come to your mind what is the first thing come to your mind when i say rate what it uh, first thing come to your mind impulse no ah alisha alisha yes almost there ah divya no 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 baby no baby rate is always interrelated with the time taken betul tak kadar i e, kamu ni jalan dengan kadar yang sangat cepat i e, kamu ni jalan macam kadar kamu macam siput maksudnya kadar di sini adalah merujuk kepada apa masa masa dia sebenarnya merujuk kepada masa the time taken Guys, therefore can guys, I would like to tell you eh, in real life, <coughs> okay, when I say rate here, yeah, when I say I have a very very high rate of reaction. Saya mempunyai kadar yang sangat tinggi. Ini bermaksud apa? <coughs> Ini bermaksud apa? Ini bermaksud apa? Kalau kadar dia tinggi Ah, when the time taken, okay, the rate is high. The time taken is very, very short, very, very short. <coughs> Or, guys, kalau saya cakap, ya Allah, your rate are extremely slow. Maksudnya apa? <coughs> Maksudnya apa? The time taken, excellent. Time taken, excellence. It is a long time. Excellent. Dia adalah sangat-sangat lama. Kau perasan tak? Rupa-rupanya, bila masa kita cakap rate, I'm always refer to the time taken. Yeah, betul Farah Kimia. Betul Farah Kimia. Yes, yes, yes. You have learned this in physics and mathematics. Bila satu naik satu turun, ia adalah berkadar songsang. Ha, berkadar songsang. In English, what we call? In English is what? In English is what? Inversely proportional. Inversely proportional. Maksudnya kan, satu naik, satu mesti kurang. Contohnya lah kan, contohnya, kau ada sepuluh ringgit. Harga buku adalah dua ringgit. Okay? Maksudnya kau boleh beli lima buku. Tapi kan sekarang harga buku naik, bilangan buku yang kau beli kurang, dia jadi dua. Do you understand or not? This is what we call... As a, yeah, this is what we call as a uh, inversely proportional. Satu naik, satu turun. And also, guys, in this particular chapter, this involves quite a number of calculation. This involves a number of calculation. Okay? They involve a number of calculation. Jadi, you must remember that, eh? <coughs> okay. So, can guys... Satu naik, satu turun. Guys, in fizik, dalam fizik, ada tak apa-apa yang kamu kira yang ada libatkan masa? Yang ada libatkan masa? Yang ada libatkan masa? Ah, apa dia? 
Apa yang melibatkan? Ah, pandai. Hak laju velocity adalah apa? <coughs> distance over velo uh, uh, distance over time taken. Ha, jarak bahagi dengan masa, sesaran bahagi dengan masa. Guys, dan juga satu lagi acceleration, pecutan. Apa formula pecutan? What is the uh, formula for pecutan? Acceleration. Do you notice or not? It is velocity divided by time taken. Maksudnya, guys, what I'm trying to say, ini adalah rate in physics. Inilah rate dalam physics. <coughs> ini adalah rate dalam physics. Now, we are going to calculate the rate in chemistry. We are going to calculate the rate in chemistry. Kita tak mungkin ya, tak mungkin kita cakap, oh cikgu saya nak kira lah hak laju bika terbang dalam makmal. Okay? Jadi kita cakap, cakap macam tu. <laughs> okay. Ataupun we cannot say, We cannot say, oh cikgu, saya nak kira hak laju, eh, pecutan ais cair. Tak ada. Benda tu tak ada. Hmm. Jadi, listen. Hey, dengar sini. Aku tengah bebel, kau boleh bersandiwara di situ. Fokus. <coughs> Aku cubit juga seko-seko ni. Okay. So what happened? Hak laju? Ah yes, yes. Hak laju is velos. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, velocity, yes, velocity. Pecutan adalah acceleration. This is in physics, my dear. This is in physics. <coughs> Tapi, in chemistry, in chemistry, ah, uh, uh, can I erase this? Can I erase this? Okay, guys. In chemistry, we are going to talk about rate of reaction. Ah, react rate of reaction. Kada tindak balas, guys. Apa tu reaction dalam kimia? What is reaction in chemistry? What is reaction in chemistry? Any idea? What do you mean? Okay, change amar, betul. Ha, ha, tindak balas. Apa maksud tindak balas? Ah, saya dapat. Kalida betul. Kalida betul. Okay. Reaction adalah satu proses di mana bahan bertukar jadi hasil. Ah, bahan bertukar jadi hasil. Bahan bertukar jadi hasil. Apa tu reaction? It is a process where the reactant change to product. Product. Okay. Maksudnya, dengar sini eh, anak-anak. Masa yang diambil untuk bahan bertukar jadi hasil lah dipanggil kadar tindak balas kimia. Masa yang diambil untuk bahan bertukar jadi hasil ialah dipanggil sebagai sebagai kadar tindak balas kimia. Faham? Faham anak-anak? Yes. Now, what I'm trying to say, in chemistry, you just agree with me You just agree with me, reaction might be have a high rate of reaction or might have a very slow or uh, low rate of reaction. Saya dah bagi jawapan tadi, ya. Terbagi. High rate of reaction stand for what? High rate of reaction stand for what? High rate of reaction stand for what? 
Ya memang betul Time dia low Masa dia singkat Betul Stand for what? Dia adalah Fast rate of reaction Kalau low rate of reaction Sebenarnya slow rate of reaction Satu kadar tindak balas yang cepat Dan satu kadar tindak balas yang perlahan Faham? Faham? Mm-hmm. Satu kadar tindak balas yang cepat Satu kadar tindak balas yang uh, perlahan Okay So Beda, beda, beda Faham kan? Okay, wait, eh? Okay, so guys, <coughs> jadi kan dalam kimia, okay, ah, uh, uh, okay, siapa nak skin capture this thing you do it? Ah, uh, eh, guys, you need to get ready with the calculator, eh? Get ready with the calculator, guys. After this, involve calculation. Okay. Sekarang ni, saya nak padam. <coughs> okay, very good. So, kan guys, bila saya cakap reactant bahan bertukar jadi hasil, a product, <coughs> bagi saya satu reactant, paling senang, A. A bertukar jadi B. Hmm. Guys, can I ask you something? Apa tu bahan? Apa tu bahan? Apa tu hasil? Aha. Apa tu bahan? What is reactant? Kita pernah dengar perkataan bahan ni, maybe first time kita dengar masa tengok Dajah tiga ke tengok masa-masa kan? Bahan-bahan masaknya tuan-tuan dan puan-puan. Apa maksud bahan? What do you mean by reaction? Answer me. No. Saya tak dapat lagi jawapan. No. No. What do you mean by reactant? <coughs> that take place in undergo the change during a reaction. No, Jeremia. No. No, benda asas. No, something. No. I can I still didn't see any answer. Bahan yang menghasilkan tindak balas. No, apa tu bahan? What do you mean by bahan? Kenapalah korang bagi jawapan yang pelik-pelik? Kan senang. Bahan, remember guys, bahan adalah substance before the experiment. Bahan sebelum eksperimen. Bahan masak, maksudnya benda sebelum masak. Hasil. Hasil pula apa? Apa tu hasil? Yes, it is after the experiment. After the experiment. Jadikan guys, when I say rate of reaction, rate of reaction, sebenarnya kan you tengah ambil time before and after an experiment. You tengah ukur masa untuk sebelum dan selepas eksperimen. Itu yang adalah dipanggil rate of reaction. Contohnya, 
Contohnya, saya bagi satu situation. Eh. I give you a satu situation. It takes one minute. Dengar sini. Eh. It takes one minute for A change to B. A change to B. So, my question. Berapa lama dia ambil untuk A change to B? Tell me. Berapa minit dia ambil untuk A change to B? Yes, one minute. One minute itulah dipanggil sebagai time rate of reaction. Time for the rate of reaction. Faham ke tak? Faham ke tak? It's the time taken for the rate of reaction. Eh, hey, guys. Saya nak tanya kamu lah. I would like to ask you. You... Okay, setiap kali kita buat eksperimen kan? Oh, okay. Uh, korang sempat tak buat eksperimen um, magnesium ribbon? Magnesium ribbon. Ah, Most of you manage to do the eksperimen. Eh? Magnesium ribbon. So, I would like to... Uh, pita magnesium. Pita magnesium. Yang bakar buka tutup, buka tutup tu. Ingat tak? Aha, tak pernah buat dia. Okey, tak apalah. Okey, guys, bila you orang uh, you orang buat eksperimen, okey, kau tengah buat-buat eksperimen, baca cik cakap, "Cikgu, saya dah habislah eksperimen." Cikgu kami yang bijak sana tu tanya, "Anak, macam mana anak tahu eksperimen dah habis? What shall you tell me?" What shall you tell me? How you know the experiment has been completed? Jeremia, kalau you cakap uh, see the product, it is not logic. Ambil air gula, ambil air garam, you campur, you nampak ke produk? You nampak ke produk? Okay, Syakirin cakap terada hasil. Masalahnya Syakirin, you nampak ke hasil? Semua eksperimen boleh nampak hasil ke? No, Amita. No, Amita. Benda dah habis, maksud kamu apa? Okey, contoh eh. Uh, cikgu, saya dah habis eksperimen ni. Lepas tu, macam mana kamu tahu eh? Oh, cikgu, benda dah habis. Dah habis, pergilah tambah lagi. Dah habis, tambahlah lagi. How you know the experiment has been completed? Time dah tamat. Time tamat. It, it, time tu tak tamat. Engkau yang berhentikan. You are the one stop the time. Sumaya, do you have any idea? How you know the experiment has been completed? Jangan cakap no reaction. Sumaya, any idea? Objective achieved. No lah. No lah. Use up. Use up. Uh, no really, Sumaya. Okay. Stop. Let me explain. <coughs> We, guys. <laughs> Cikgu suruh stop ya. Yeah? Kau janganlah stop. Let me explain. Do you notice or not, guys? You will stop the experiment of any experiment when there is no changes in the mass, in the volume. Do you notice or not? Cikgu, eksperimen saya dah habis lah. Ha, lepas tu kan, uh, <coughs> macam mana kamu tahu eksperimen ni dah habis? The experiment dah habis because, cikgu, there is no changes in the mass that I'm weighing. Kau ukur-ukur dia punya jisim tak pernah berubah setahun. <laughs> Nasib baik cikgu tak tanya. eh. Yes. Normally, you will stop an experiment not because you already achieved the objective. 
because there is no changes in the experiment. There is no changes in the experiment. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Guys, so I would like to ask you. I would like to ask you. In chemistry, in chemistry, uh -huh, apa yang kamu normally akan measure in the chemistry experiment? I have give you two things. Yes, uh, mass, uh, mass, mass, the same. Saya dah bagi volume. Normally kita akan measure mass and volume. What else? What else? Not pressure. No, Sarah. In chemistry, kita selalu measure what? Temperature. No, Jeremiah. Yes, Amita. You are right. Mole. And one more to go. One more to go. Dan Danush, you also right. <coughs> one more. One more. Mass. Wo yes, very good, Kalida. Very good. Very good. Mola. Mola. Jadikan, guys. In chemistry, when I'm talking about rate, guys, what is rate? What is the rate? It's always referred to what? It's referred to the time. Just now, can guys, uh, uh, dengar, velocity. What is the formula of velocity? What is the formula of velocity again? Distance divided by time. Ini adalah rate. Ini adalah rate. Maksudnya kan guys, kau uh, dengar sini betul betul. Distance over rate atau displacement over rate, time taken. Guys, you perasan tak? Kalau kita nak kira rate, kalau kita nak kira rate, you bahagi dengan apa? You bahagi dengan apa? Time. Jadi, in chemistry, guys, you want to calculate the rate in chemistry. You should divide with what? You should time divide with time. Maka, mass over time. Volume over time. Mole over time. Mola over time. Inilah rate dalam kimia. This is the rate in chemistry. Because in chemistry, yes, chemist more time. It is must, it is because what is the rate of reaction? Is the, where the reactant change to product. The reactant change to product. That's why we divide with the time. Therefore, this is actually referred to the other rate, rate of reaction. Jadi kan guys, <coughs> guys, tadi kan, you ingat tak, saya kita ada cakap, how, how, what is the relation between rate and time? Rate and time, what is the relation? What is the relations between rate and time? Apa hubungan antara kadar dengan masa? Inversely proportional, berkadar, Song Sang, maksudnya kan guys, maksudnya guys, Song Sang bermaksud satu naik, satu turun. Maka, bila time dia tinggi, rate dia rendah. Sebab tu dia adalah berkadar ter Song Sang. Yeah. It, that's why this is called as inversely proportional. That's why we call this as a inversely proportional. Okay, guys, siapa nak screen capture buat sekarang, saya nak padam.